Some of my Cubase clients have come to me and asked me, you know, since we're going to be mastering this project anyway, wouldn't it make more sense to turn on all the mastering plugins during the recording process and that way have a better idea of what it's going to sound like once we master it? And the answer is yes. And no, it kind of depends on what school you belong to. One school says that, yeah, you should just leave all the mastering plugins on, and that way you'll know what it sounds like in the end. But then the other school says, you know, maybe you should leave them all off, and that way you know exactly what your raw tracks sound like during the recording without all the mastering plugins applied to them. And I'm not going to tell you that one way is better than the other. If you turn on all the mastering plugins before the recording, process or during the recording process, that's certainly okay, but there is one thing to keep in mind, and that is that when you add mastering plugins to the master fader, it's going to induce latency throughout the audio system. So if you notice that suddenly your system is getting sluggish, or if you start to notice that there's suddenly a lot of latency in your system, it's because these mastering plugins in the master inserts are delaying that signal a little bit on its path out of the master fader. Personally, myself, I like to hear the tracks raw without any mastering plugins, and that also means that I won't have any system latency induced during the recording. And so the best advice I have to you on mastering during or after the recording, I guess it's just use your best judgment. Try both methods and see which way works best for you. And since I just mentioned latency, now's a good time to talk about your audio interface's buffer settings.